Pick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. Okay, how's it going, everyone? South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts in Singapore for one fight night eight. I saw this man across the breakfast hall and I had to go and interview him. Nicholas Larson here. How you doing, man? I'm very good, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. you. Want to talk with me? Always. I remember talking to you just ahead of your debut. This was That was over Zoom, though, so it's cool to meet you in person. Uh, you're back. You're fighting Eddie Abasolo Saturday morning in Singapore. How's everything going ahead of the fight? Well, everything is going quite well. I feel very good, feel confident and had good preparation. I was in Thailand uh, during my preparation, so I feel so so good and relaxed, actually. So, uh, yeah, everything is perfect. Yeah, I heard you're training with Sitichai for this fight in, in Thailand. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I was in Sitsong Penang. Uh, Sitichai, they have some killers there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sitichai, uh, yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, I cannot even, uh, Sat uh, uh, I had Moon, Moonlet, who is also, um, uh, I, um, uh, who was my trainer. And he uh, is actually, what I understand, he was um, the, the, the coach for, for uh, the wooden man, you know, Eddie's uh, 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 coach as well. So it's a, it's it's pretty amazing. It's uh, like seems this uh, are going to happen. Mm. Yeah, then we were told on our podcast on Wednesday that you're looking good. I think uh, the the guy who runs the gym was saying you were there and said you're uh, you're in good shape ahead of this fight. Uh, nice to hear such uh, pleasant comments. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are um, confident that I'm gonna make a, a good victory. And uh, I feel that I'm in, in, in a very good shape as well. So that's good. Yeah. And um, we obviously heard about your incredible story before your debut when you fought uh, to Wan Chai. Uh, but for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, just fill us in quickly on, on what happened to you, what you went through with the leg and the staff affection, everything. Mm. Uh, to make it short, um, I was... Uh, yeah, in my best years, uh, at that time I fought glory kickboxing and I was supposed to fight a four-man tournament. Uh, my my body was in a lot of stress and uh, then I got, got a staph infection two weeks up to to this uh, tournament. I uh, went to the hospital and uh, my infection numbers was uh, deadly high. I almost, uh, they almost had to uh, operate my leg. I was out for three years and uh, had my comeback. Uh, yeah, from uh, I got the infection in fourteen and uh, two thousand fourteen, and and came back in two thousand seventeen. So I had to learn how to walk again. That was uh, pretty amazing. I had to learn to be more present, not too much in the future. I was only thinking about fighting at that point. So I believe I got more mature, mature as, uh, as a as a human, as a as a man. Mm. Yeah. And, and looking back, do you think maybe it was possibly too high a test to take on to Wan Chai in the first fight back in one championship at the time? Would you have liked to perhaps face him after a few other fights when you get back in your rhythm? I believe that everything uh, happens for a reason. And uh, for my journey, this was the totally right thing to, uh, to meet Taman Chai. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm the one who, um, yeah, yeah. I just need to accept whatever comes uh, to me. Um, it's how I react to it and how I respond to it. Um, it's a, it's only making my story even um, more incredible. Uh, it's awesome to fight these guys. I love to to fight the uh, the best. And uh, why not start with Taman Chai and <laughs> Jim Avenue? And and now I I have my way back. So I I really I feel uh, so much appreciation. Uh, I feel that I get stronger every time. I'm very grateful. Yeah, like you said, Jimmy Vienno was your second fight. Uh, another loss. So, I mean, are you confident now you can put those behind you, get the win on Saturday? Yeah, well, when I got asked about, I had two losses. Um, I don't I don't see it as losses because every every fight I have, even though if I win, it's all about development, about how I can be a better fighter, a better human. Uh, so I just take it as it as it is, and, uh, and then I I grow. That sounds good. All right. Well, tell us what's going to happen then Saturday when you fight Eddie. He's coming off a loss as well uh, against Liam Nolan, which I saw. I think it was uh, Singapore. Yeah, November. Mm. Um, what are you expecting from him? I expect that he come with uh, his absolute best. He's a very unique fighter. He do his, uh, his uh, own uh, thing, <laughs> his own style. Um, I've, 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 
yeah, that, that's something I really admire. Um, I think it's going to be hard against me um, to to feel the rhythm that he sometimes had in the past against uh, some earlier opponents. Um, it's going to be a tough test for 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 Eddie. Um, but no matter what, I hope the best for him. I hope that we can create something very beautiful. Um, and I'm always going for for a knockout. Uh, but it, if it happens, it's happened. Um, and if not, yeah, we will just create something very beautiful. But I will look for every chance to make yeah even yeah amazing, just amazing. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what happens. But uh, is I got to ask you: Is, is Tawanchai still the goal? You want to get back in there with him one day? Definitely, definitely. Tom and Chai is uh, f- amazing, and uh, yeah, it would be a lie if I if I'm not thinking about how I can get my way back and fight this guy again. I uh, really uh, think he's an incredible champion. It's uh, good to see uh, a healthy uh, role model, uh, and and uh, yeah, I, I I'm excited for 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 my journey to come back and fight again uh, against the. Uh, it's having chai again. All right, that sounds mm. good. Well, let's see you Saturday morning then. Nicholas Larson against Eddie Abasolo. Can't wait to see it. Thanks for speaking to me. Thank you, man. All right. Good.